The Tantric Alchemy curriculum was very different from the 200 hour Lakshmi Rising um, in a sense that the Lakshmi Rising was very much a teacher training. We learned how to teach and share everything that we were learning. Um, the Tantric Alchemy was definitely more of an internal practice. Um, I think it was much deeper exploration of our own practice, of our own um, minds and our own body and much more inward thinking and I think by doing that we are able to um, live what we're teaching, live these practices and be a better teacher. To sort of describe to you what your day or your weeks might look like here, every morning we would get up before the sun rose to the sound of the amazing howler monkeys. And then pretty much all of us, because we really were dedicated, went to the puja room and we meditated, usually for about a half an hour. As the sun rose and just that beautiful sunlight on our faces. And then we would take it into the pagoda where Liz would come and we would share an asana practice. And then at the end of asana practice in our shavasana, we would always hear the conch blow and head down to our first meal. And then the day sort of broke open from there. And depending on which day, maybe we were studying Sanskrit or Ayurveda. And actually before we even, I'm sorry, before we even got to breakfast, we religiously chanted the Hanuman Chalisa which to this day I chant every morning, or sometimes just in my car, and I have it mostly memorized, which I'm dedicated to knowing the whole thing eventually. And then we would have amazing lectures from Naga, and to describe Naga's teaching style, it's more of, it felt to me, like a guru sharing his soul and his wisdom. And so that's why when I say I live from that space, it's because it was infused into me during this training. The Tantric Alchemy Yoga Teacher training was intense. There were long days where we focused on yoga, of course. We did master classes in the morning, two hour beautiful asana practice with Liz. We had classes like Sanskrit, which I never thought that I would get the opportunity to learn. Um, we had guided meditations with Dave. There were a couple of really different courses uh, known as Vatstu and Jyotish, which we did with Naga. And it really taught us a lot about connecting to the universe and going deeper than just sort of the surface uh, subjects that we learn in our 200 um, hour outside of the sanctuary, at least in mine, um, where it focused on, you know, deeper, more meaningful topics. Um, and a lot of the curriculum allowed us the opportunity to just try new tools and try new things to experience for ourselves what it really means uh, and what the benefits are to some of these ancient practices. Um, what I loved about it was no one was telling me that this is what you have to do to get to your enlightenment. Uh, this is something you could try and see for yourself where it takes you. It might not take you anywhere. Uh, it might take you places you've never been before. After doing lots of research online about different advanced yoga teacher training programs, one of the main things that stood out when coming coming across the sanctuary's website and and the tantric alchemy YTT the curriculum really stood out um, there was a an emphasis on learning about ritual and meditation and learning about pranayama and advanced sequence sequencing mm, and learning about Ayurveda and Sanskrit and ma learning mantras and all those all of those subjects really it, to me it seemed like it was a very authentic 
yoga teacher training in which they really focused on sharing a holistic system of interacting with ourselves and working with different energy and and learning about what yoga really means at the root. I really enjoyed what Dave brought to the forefront when it came to mantra and puja and the rituals that he shared with us in the classroom setting. Things like the five element puja and working with offerings and interacting with this the divine and the spirits in that way was something that I really enjoyed. I, I really enjoyed chanting the Hanuman Chalisa every morning after our asana practice. It was really awesome to be able to track my own progress and and how I was able to recite and remember more and more and more of the verses. Uh, I really I really enjoyed worshiping and showing devotion to that sort of spiritual essence that still exists today and being able to sit with our eyes closed and hear such a beautiful and sacred song was really incredible. It just really filled me up. Mm -hmm.